Maybe the most popular uh, uh, of the uh, narrative art forms that we have, um, and so therefore it speaks to a much larger audience than, say, literature or or uh, opera or theater and so forth. I don't know. I mean, the first movie I saw was Mary Poppins, and and, and followed up uh, shortly after that with The Sound of Music and. Uh, that I'm sure I know had a, a, an, an impact. I mean, I loved the films as a child, and certainly I, I couldn't have come up with the Sunshine Singers and Palindromes had I not had the Von Trapp family in The Sound of Music. I mean, there's so many uh, that uh, shape uh, me, and I don't mean to deflect or evade this, this question, but the primary material... Uh, uh, is of course one's life experience and and uh, the childhood, one's youth, and 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 that not only what happened directly to you, uh, but what you read and observed and heard about and so forth. And I think that is uh, the 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 mother load, so to speak. I was in my twenties when uh, I wondered if uh, a filmmaking career was possible. So I was no prodigy. It took me a while to even understand what a director did, what, what the way in which he was responsible for shaping the character of a film. Um, so uh, I, I, I don't, uh, it, 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 I had just had to fail at many other endeavors before um, uh, I found uh, the possibility of, of film. Um, I, you know, why does one put pen to paper? It's a, uh, an eternal question. Uh, it, it, it's, it's not exactly fun, um, but I've been writing really since I'm reading, so it's something that's built into my genes, I suppose. Uh, my films are, for me, first of all, um, I know there are some filmmakers who like to do one for them and one for themselves and back and forth, the studio and then the uh, independent. But uh, I uh, want to do everything for me. Uh, it's so hard making a film. Uh, uh, so much goes into it and life is short. I certainly wouldn't want to collapse on the set of a film that I didn't particularly want to make. Um, uh, if I'm lucky, there is an audience. I never presume that. Uh, uh, the, the hope is just that if the material excites me, that it will speak to others. Well, I don't think any of my subjects are particularly alien to anyone who lives on our planet. I mean, you just have to open the newspaper or turn on the TV, the internet, what have you. All these sorts of subjects are out there. Uh, my role is in some way I respond to uh, and, and, and then reshape the experience of, uh, of understanding uh, the, the kinds of uh, things that we're assaulted with on such a regular basis and try to uh, find uh, new ways of understanding and experiencing these things. I, you know, I think it's good to, you know, you, you experience, you see the movies that you love and that's what you should trust. Don't trust what the filmmaker says about them. I personally was uh, dependent on having uh, movie theaters uh, uh, on campus when I was an undergraduate. And, but of course, uh, that was before they had VCRs. So it was the only way really to see movies uh, unless you could catch it on TV in a sort of haphazard way. And uh, I, I, I love going to the movies, and uh, I think there's a, there's a value in the experience that uh, is, is uh, hard to articulate, uh, that, that is lost if you view a film on your laptop or on your television and so forth. Um, it's, it's certainly the way I design films uh, when I make them to be seen uh, uh, in a movie theater, even though I well know 
that uh, these days uh, most people will have seen my films uh, uh, in its post-theatrical life.